Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and welcome to a bit of a book haul. So after saying in the book haul video that I made last month um, that I don't acquire books that regularly, I don't acquire that many books per month and therefore if I made more regular book hauls they would only be of a handful of books. Um, I did actually then buy five books in February. Um, so I thought I would make a haul video about the five books that I had bought in February. This is more books than I usually buy. Am I slightly worried that my TBR is going to get out of control if I continue this habit? Possibly. However, I have read quite a few books from my physical TBR this month, so it's probably fine. And I'm not intending on buying five books every month, so you know, it's fine. Anyway, so let me tell you about the books I bought. The reason why I bought five books um, is partly because um, in the middle of February I went to Ely, um, which is a cathedral city in England, um, which I hadn't been to before. It was really nice and Ely has a Toppings and Company bookshop. So Toppings and Company are a small chain in the UK that I absolutely love. They have a bookshop in Bath. Um, I used to live in Bath and um, when I lived in Bath I went to Toppings like every week. I bought so many books from Toppings in the year I lived there and I went to two different book clubs at Toppings and Company and it's just, it's just my favourite bookshop. And I've also been to the St Andrews Toppings and Company which is amazing too. Um, and now I finally went to the one in Ely and it was very very nice and it was very cool. It was very pretty. It had multiple floors of many, many books um, with a huge variety and so many exciting books to buy. Um, and so I bought myself three books there. Um, so the books I bought myself were, um, the first one I got was The Betrayals by Bridget Collins. So I read The Binding last year and it was one of my absolute favourite books of the year. So I'm very, very excited to read Bridget Collins' second book, The Betrayals. I don't know too much about this, actually. I feel like I've only really heard it talked about, like, in relation to The Binding. I feel like some people didn't like it quite as much as The Binding, but I love The Binding a lot and I'm prepared for this to be amazing too. Um, I'm very intrigued. I don't know too much about it. I think that it, like The Binding, is set in a not exactly real, um, possibly slightly alternative history world. But I'm not going to read the back cover because I don't actually want to know that much about the betrayals. I just want to go into it knowing that it's the second book by an author that I absolutely love and that's all I need to know. I'm hoping to read this really soon. Um, I think I might buddy read it in March with Marissa from Bake Me Bookish and Andrea from Infinite Text um, and I'm sure that I will really like it because I love the binding so much. So very, very excited for this one. And then I also picked up this. This is The Ladies of Grace Adieu by Susanna Clarke. So this is a short story collection set in the same world as her novel Jonathan Strange and Miss Norrell, um, which I read last year and it was another of my favourite books of the year and I loved it so much and I love the world so much that I'm so excited to read this because I think it'll be really fun just interesting different stories set in that amazing fantastic universe that I just can't wait to explore more I was gonna buy Piranesi because that's her most recent novel um, and it has done really well and people have been talking about it a lot and it sounds brilliant and I do want to read Piranesi but I love the world of Jonathan Strange and Miss Norrell so much that I kind of want to read this more so I picked up this instead and yeah I'm very very excited for this one I think it will be fantastic and then also in Tom Hanks and Company, I bought this tiny book, which is um, The Machine Stops by Ian Forster. This is a um, dystopian novella by Ian Forster, which I think is about like what happens when technology breaks down. I don't know too much about it, but I love Ian Forster. I've read all of his full length novels, but I haven't read many of his shorter works. Um, and Claudia from Spencer's Library was talking about this a while ago and saying how amazing it was. So I'm very excited to give this one a go. And it's very short, so it won't take me long. I'm looking forward to getting to it soon. I think there are actually two stories in here. I think it's the machine stops and the celestial omnibus know nothing about that at all but you know should be an interesting read so that was my trip to toppings and company which was excellent fun um, and then i also acquired two other books in february one is this this is the membranes by cheetah way and this is um translated by ari larissa heinrich and um, so i bought this because um jen the librarian whose channel i will link down below is this year hosting a lgbtq plus books in translation read along throughout the year reading a different book every couple of months i will link all the details down below with her initial announcement video um, and this is the book for february and march i'm really excited to take part in this project i think it should be a really really interesting read along and i'm hoping it will like bring me to lots of books that I've never heard of before. Jen the Librarian has an absolutely fantastic channel and she is very good, I find, for telling me about books that I haven't heard of elsewhere. So I think this will be a really interesting read. It's very short. I'm hoping to get to it soon. I believe this is a um, science fiction slash dystopian novel set in the late 21st century. This was first published in Taiwan in 1995 um, and it sounds like a really interesting book. So I'm very excited to get to this one soon. 
Then finally, I also bought myself a finished copy of The Gifts by Liz Hyder. Um, you may have seen me holding up the band proof I have as well, because I have a band proof too from before, but I wanted to get myself a finished copy um, because I actually went along to the launch party of The Gifts, which was really, really nice. I haven't been to a book launch for ages um, and book launches are really fun. And it was really nice to, to go there um, and see a lot of my old colleagues and also meet the author, Liz Hyder. Um, so as I've mentioned on this channel before, I used to work at the publisher Manila Press of this book um, and I worked on this book um, mostly over lockdown so I'd never met the author before so it's really nice to go along to the launch party um, and meet her in person um, and it was just a really great time and I bought myself a book um, and yeah it's so beautiful this book. Leaving aside for a second the fact that the content is fantastic it's really really beautiful and also I'm going to show you the end papers because the end papers are really really cool and it also has some illustrations throughout so like Different chapters are told from the perspective of different characters um, and each different character has a different symbol, um, which is very cool. And there are also a few other like illustrations as well um, throughout for particular purposes. Um, and it just, it looks, it looks really pretty and it's very nice to have a finished copy. I have spoken about the gifts um, a couple of times on this channel before, um, but basically this is a book set in Victorian London in the 1840s um, and follows various characters who are all connected by um, rumours circulating in London about a fallen angel. Um, and one of our main characters at the very beginning of the book grows wings. So it has that kind of supernatural element, but really it's a book about like Victorian society and like Victorian and I just I love it I love it very very much as I already mentioned I used to work at the publisher um, who had published this um, as an assistant editor I worked on this book so I have read it before but I'm actually rereading it at the moment um, because I haven't read it in it's like a very final form and it's just yeah it's just so good and it's such a delight and it's very nice to have a finished physical copy it's just yeah this book is very very excellent and you should all you should all buy it and you should all read it because I love it very very much and it's such a joy to have a finished copy um and to be reading it again so those are the books that i have acquired um in february um a nice little haul for february not too bad for one month um hopefully i will not continue to acquire this many books every month because my physical tbr would soon get out of control but five is fine for now um and i'm really excited for all of these books obviously i've already started reading the gifts as i said um, and i'm looking forward to the rest as well hoping to read them all really soon please do let me know down in the comments if you have bought any new books recently that you're excited about or if you have um, heard about any of these books if there's any you would especially like to recommend to me. While I'm here I did also quickly want to mention before I go that my videos might be a little up and down for the next um, few weeks slash few months. As a lot of you know, my debut novel, The Secrets of Hartwood Hall, is coming out next year um, in just over a year, which is very, 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 very exciting. I'll put some more details down in the description. But um, there's a lot of stuff going on around that at the moment. Um, lots of editorial things happening, which are very exciting, but all quite busy. That kind of has to come first at the moment. So sometimes there may be one video a week instead of two, and sometimes there may be a week without any videos, just while I am knocking down and focusing on writing but you know hopefully this time in 13 months you'll have a book by me to read so that will be exciting and hopefully worth the absence of videos for a time. I'm still going to be making plenty of videos I'm sure but for the next few months they might just be a little bit sporadic and scatty um, but you know please bear with me through that I will be back in full force at some point I'm sure. And that's all for now I think thank you very much for watching and I'll be back quite soon with another bookish video.